Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Amber. And we are youth educators with Illinois Extension. We are going to be learning about renewable energy by showing you how to build mini windmills. Have you ever wanted to know more about the everyday environment in your own backyard? Join Illinois Extension this summer for Junior Master Naturalists, a hands-on opportunity for youth third grade and older to get outside and learn more about taking care of the environment and the plants and animals that live in our part of Southern Illinois. To learn more, sign up at 4h.zsuite.org. Have you ever played with the wind by sticking your hand outside a car window? Let's pretend we're doing that now. Imagine the wind is hitting your hand. What happens if we tilt our hand upward? What about if our hand is flat, like it's cutting through the wind? What if we make our hand like a wall? What happens when the wind hits it? Knowing a little about wind will be helpful in today's lesson. In the first half of the lesson, you and a partner will be building your own mini windmill. And in the second half, you will experiment to see just how much weight your windmill can lift. Wind energy is renewable energy because it's not something we are going to run out of. Renewable energy is better for our environment than non-renewable energy. A windmill is a type of engine that uses the wind to create energy. This is a wind turbine. This is a modern version of a windmill. This diagram shows how wind is turned into electricity. The wind hits the rotor blades, which turns the gearbox, which turns the generator, which generates the electricity. The energy travels to the transformer, which transforms it to be used in our daily lives. Now, our windmills will not be generating electricity, but they will be doing work. Take a look at the blades of our windmill. Think back to how the wind affected your hand. When you tilted it upward, you probably felt your hand being pushed up. When it was cutting through the wind, there wasn't much push. And when your hand was like a wall, you felt the wind push your hand back. Remembering this information will help you when you get to the experiment stage of the activity. Now, you will be making your own windmills. This challenge has two goals. The windmill must spin in the wind, and it must lift weight as it spins. You will be working in small groups. Each group should get a kit with all the materials needed. In your kit, there should be a paper plate, foam cylinder, a wooden skewer, a straw, foam double-sided sticker, string, a cup, and a washer. You will also need your scissors, and hopefully your teacher can help with some tape. Remember to take turns making your own windmills. Let's start with the paper plate. You see how one side curves upward? This will be the side we put face up like this. Take turns folding your plate in half and unfold it. And then fold and unfold your plate in half the other way, like this. Make sure you have four equal portions. Where your folds meet is the center of your plate. Now turn the plate upside down on your table. Grab the double-sided foam sticker and peel off the back. Place the sticker in the center of the plate. Peel the backing from the other side and place the foam cylinder onto the sticker. Now flip the paper plate over. Take the skewer and use the pointy side to push through the middle of the plate, sticker, and foam cylinder until you hit the table. Pick it up and carefully continue pushing the skewer until only a short piece is sticking out of the paper plate. The foam cylinder is acting as our hub, the central component connecting the blades to the skewer, which will be the drive shaft. Slide one washer onto the skewer, then slide the straw onto the skewer. We have just constructed a drivetrain with the skewer as the axle shaft, the straw and washer as the bearing and the plate as the blades. Let's test it out. Hold on to the straw part that's on the skewer and spin the plate. If it spins freely like this, it works. Now grab the cup and string. Thread the string through the holes in your cup.
and tie the string in a knot. On the other end of the string, you will place a piece of tape like this. Place both the tape and the string onto the end of the skewer and fold your tape around the skewer, not the straw. With one hand holding the straw or the drivetrain and the other spinning the plate, the string should be wrapping on the skewer, causing the cup to lift up like this. It spins and lifts weight. But to show you how wind energy works, this needs to happen in the wind. But since we aren't outside, we will have to use this fan to create our own wind. What? My windmill isn't working. I wonder why. What do we need? If you said we need blades, you're right. Right now, our plate is like a wall and just gets pushed back and doesn't spin. We will need to cut and pitch our blades so that they can catch the wind. Using your scissors, cut one of the folds on the plate until you reach the foam piece. Don't cut all the way to the center of your plate. After you have cut all the folds, we need to pitch or fold our blades. Take a corner of each blade and fold them forward like this. We are going to repeat that with the rest of the blades. Just make sure you fold your pieces in the same direction. Now we need to test our windmills. Each group will take turns at the fan. Does your windmill spin? Great! Add some washers or other items to your cup and see if your windmill can lift weight. And then see just how much weight it can lift. If time allows, you can experiment by folding the fan blades in different ways or try an entirely different material. Experiment and have fun!